we have the musicians because we have Timothy Roberts playing here for us this morning. And kind of give me an idea of the type of musicians. We saw some young kids earlier and in uh, the performances that are going to be available to the public here. Well, Friday evening, we're going to have the classical collage, classical music. And Saturday night, we've got a soul band coming, going to have a rock and roll dance. We've had some concerts, just try dry runs, but we want to have musicians of all talents, local and regional, um, whatever. When we were, when I was reading about the barns at Rose Hill, there was a statement that said that you really wanted to make it obviously available to the population. You wanted it to pay tribute to its agricultural community, and at the same time, really make a statement on the community's character. What do you mean by that? There's a lot of local talent. We're just very fortunate with the, the amount of uh, talent, artists, uh, musicians, all kinds of creativity, and now we'll have a place for them to, to showcase their, their work. Well, let's showcase Tim just for a second here. Sure. Timothy Roberts is going to be performing here Friday at 7.30. And, of course, Tim's talent is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all that's going to be available here at the Barnes at Rose Hill. MyFlyingsDC.com is our website. We have a link to theirs if you want to check out more. They are having six days of celebration, and then they're going to continue to celebrate well on into the future, and they hope you're a part of it. Coming up in our next hour, we're going to head downstairs and talk and look at a new art exhibit that they have as we continue to celebrate with them on this Tuesday morning. Back to you in the studio. All right, Holly. Head off.